years ago, I um, got involved in Food Not Bombs, hearing about it. I really haven't heard of the organization until um, my boyfriend at the time, and now I guess, uh, introduced it to me because he had a couple of friends who were interested in starting a chapter. And, I mean, the, the nature of Food Not Bombs is you could start it yourself, which is really cool, and I like the idea of not really relying on a greater organization to, to do something good. And um, although I, I did a little research myself when I heard about people wanting to start a chapter, and I felt like a lot of the ideals that were presented by the organization matched my own. And so I decided to go to the first meeting, which was held in Reseda, pretty close to the park where we serve. Um, and we had a meeting with a lot more people at the time, but a lot of um, seemingly enthusiastic and nice people, and so uh, it sounded really good, and I just stuck, and it's been almost three years since then. And uh, I don't know, just generally the values of, um, kind of, it's kind of, I guess you could say sustainable in a way, because you are using something that would have been wasted otherwise, but aside from that, politically speaking, uh, the idea of setting proper priorities in the government has been something of interest, and so, um, you know, food not bombs, the name itself kind of says it all. <laughs> everything on Saturday evening where I go to Western Bagel to collect the day-old bagels from that day. Uh, that's around 6 p.m. and that's the only thing we really do for Food Not Bombs on Saturdays. And then on Sunday, the day begins maybe around noon, we get our things together to go to the farmer's market, which is in Encino. So um, whoever is going that particular week would bring a bunch of cardboard boxes into their car and crates. I uh, head over to the Encino Farmer's Market, get there around 12.40, and uh, go to each stand in the Farmer's Market, particular stands who know us and, and have been um, expecting us to come to pick up whatever they can't take back to their, their farm because it'll go bad in the car ride over. Um, they give greens or fruit or um, grains to us. Load it back in the car, drive back to Rajani's house, and cook um, what we choose would be good for one meal um, for that day. And the reason we cook, instead of just, pro just distributing fresh produce, is that not everyone has a home who comes to Food Not Bombs and can't, can't really cook the food if it's not edible raw. The, the small handful of homeless people who come to Food Not Bombs would either get uh, a bowl of cooked food and um, fruits, uh, maybe some bagels, uh, just because they don't really have a place to prepare it. And also, it's although it's after lunchtime, it's it's nice to have people interact with each other, and sharing food um, is a good way of doing that, especially if you have to stand and eat it, as opposed to grab what you need and leave. Okay. <laughs> 